Hey guys, welcome to the intro episode for Dark Souls. This is a little bit different, I've never done one of these before, but Dark Souls is a very interesting let's play, and I'd like to say a foreword about it before I get into it, so you can consider this like episode zero. Um, first of all, this let's play I am going to dedicate to two people, or two YouTube channels basically, in particular. One is Vati Vidya. I have um, Vati Vidya to thank actually for getting me through the first game um it was his videos that got me really interested in the lore and made me want to complete the first game after um i ran into issues and had a lot of discouragement from elitists that were making me not want to play it so vadi um i would not have finished the game or been a fan of dark souls if not for you so uh be sure if you haven't heard of him or his stuff to check out his channel and see all of his lore videos for Dark Souls. Um, if, if you're not sure uh, what all of the stuff in Dark Souls is, you don't know how anything's connected, he does a good job of putting a bow and string on it for you, and he has a very soothing, relaxing voice to listen to, so definitely uh, Vadi's my first pick. My second pick, um, more related to Dark Souls 2, is uh, Only Afro who is a poison to the entire Dark Souls community, and everyone hates him for some reason, but his videos are hilarious, and he made me actually like PvP because of all the stuff he did. Um, he's legendary for uh, establishing Giant Dad as a meme, and the Giant Dad thing, and I think he hates it now, but uh, he, he does Arma 2 videos and uh, some Final Fantasy Realm Reward stuff. So... He's just really funny, and I, I can't I can't think of Dark Souls without thinking of only Afro. So, both of you guys are amazing, and I dedicate this playthrough specifically to both of you, uh, in particular. Now, uh, before we get going with the game, um, the PC version when it came out was fraught with issues, and in order to make the game playable uh you had to install a mod called ds fix and earlier i recorded a segment of showing off exactly how ds fix works uh as well as some other things about how the my playthrough in particular was going to run so by the way if if you don't if you don't want to watch that if you are, don't really care about the uh, technical details of getting this game running then I'm pretty sure you can skip the rest of this video if you want to, but if you plan on playing Dark Souls eventually, or you plan on playing it beside me as I'm playing through it, you probably want to watch the rest of this video to make sure you install it correctly, <laughs> because otherwise you're going to have a bad time. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to go online to the Googles, and you are going to do a search for a mod called DSFX, which is available at the Dark Souls Nexus, and you download that, um, and once you have this downloaded, you need to go to wherever you have Dark Souls installed. For me, it's the um, Steam library here. You go to Common, um, Prepare to Die Edition, and then you go to the Data folder in all caps. And you throw all of the files from that zipped file into here. Um, after you do that, you need to go to Actual DS Fix and look through all your stuff and you want to make sure your settings are optimal um i would go online and do a search for uh ds fix settings or you can copy my settings um before i po or when i post this video i will do a quick actually i'll go ahead and do it i'll do a copy and paste of um of my DS fix settings and you can copy paste this into whatever actually hang on I don't even have I don't have the right thing set here <laughs> I'm stupid okay let me fix that your depth of field needs to actually be higher than your internal rendering resolution I'm an idiot I keep forgetting to do that but anyway bleh. um this mod is a must have in order to run this game otherwise the game looks like shit runs like shit and is complete shit uh it, it stays updated as far as i know i think you might need to get the latest version but the latest version came out forever ago um and 
if you have any interest in Dark Souls after playing or watching me play through a few levels or if you want to play through the game with me um, and you want to grab the PC version if you haven't yet, go ahead and do that. Now that I've explained this, I'd like to go ahead and give you a quick what my vision is for this Let's Play, what it's going to be. Um, the Let's Play of Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 are both going to be not for noobs, but for people that are afraid of the series. Um, when I first came into Dark Souls, I was turned off of it by the elitism in the community and just how everyone played it up as being the hardest game ever. Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 are not that hard. If you have the right person guiding you through it, they're all they're both actually rather easy. Um, like compared to normal games, like other games, not normal <laughs> compared to other games, they're, they're a little bit more challenging. There's a bit of a difficulty curve, but once you got it, you got it. I mean, it's not like smash your face into the ground, disgusting. Unless you know we're talking about like Ornstein and Smoke, but we'll get there. We'll we'll get to that. The point is. If you plan on playing this game, you need to install DS Fix, and if you are afraid of playing this and you're watching my playthrough simply because you don't think you'll ever touch this game, watch my playthrough to the point where you feel interested enough in it and confident enough in it to get started, and then play through a bit of it yourself um, and, until you get stuck and then come back and see how I did it and then go back to playing it because this is a very rewarding experience to do by yourself. Um, I realize there's a lot of people that don't want to play it by themselves and want help. So this is what this walkthrough is going to be for you. Um, but anyway, I prattled on long enough about it. I, I wanted to make this video under like five minutes just to give you a bit of an intro of my plans for the series. Um, uh, while other Let's Plays, I've basically either gone at blind or I've had a general, like, some strategy as I went into it, like I did with Fable Anniversary. This, I'm pretty sure I know a lot of what to do, but I'm definitely not a master of. Please, if you are watching this and you see something I did that I could do better, um, feel free to leave a comment about it. I will take all criticisms and suggestions on my run-through, but this is going to be optimal um, with someone who is just brand new to the series in mind. So I hope you enjoy watching and we'll get started with our first episode shortly.